Hello, thanks for tuning in to another episode of our how-to series. My name's Simon Gorsworth of Rio Products, and today's how-to series is how to get more distance, something an awful lot of anglers strive for and want, not necessarily need, but hey, we all want to cast a little bit further. So let's have a look. How do you cast a bit further? Well, there's a couple of options. First of all, there's a gear option, right? You can set yourself up with gear that casts further than your regular trout line. What I mean by that is think of a spinning rod, right? Well, the reason it's very easy to throw a spinner at a distance is because you have a very thin line with a heavy lump of weight on the front end and you pop it and out it goes and, and that's what it is. In fly fishing circles, you have a similar kind of setup and this setup is called a shooting head with a shooting line show you the system. So on here you can see I've got a blue really thin shooting line and it's so thin there's very little friction and attached to that with a loop-to-loop -loop join in front is a great fat short thing called a shooting head, a short piece of fly line and it's looped together here and this is your ultimate distance outfit. So if you really want distance, like you're on, a, on the surf when you want to cast as far as possible, when you're on the lake and you want to cast as far as possible then this is the right kind of gear. The reason is, there's virtually no friction and there's no drag with this thin line. This slight thin line is called slick shooter. And the thinner the shooting line is, obviously the further distance you'll get. So let's just show you how easy it is to get a bit of distance with a shooting head. And there are downsides with a shooting head, obviously, otherwise everybody would be using it. But the simple thing is, even with just a simple kind of back flip here and a flop there, you can see it shoots an awful lot of line very, very easily. So that is one requisite. If you just want distance, set yourself up with a shooting head and a very, very thin shooting line. Now, one of the problems with that is, first of all, you're handling a very, very thin mono. When you're stripping a your line in like this, you're handling a thin mono and it can get caught around your feet and get hard to grip hold of. If a fish grabs, it slips through your fingers. So that's one problem with a thin running line. And then the other problem is that when you strip the line close to you, you have the loop-to-loop -loop join clicking and coming in the rod like this. This connection gets annoying and you have to have that connection outside the rod when you make your final delivery cast to get that easy shoot. So the shooting head will give you distance but as I said there are problems. So the next thing to go to if you don't really want those maximum distance and you want something a bit more handleable is what's called an integrated shooting head and ours is called an outbound short. Basically, it's the same thing as that, but there's no loops. It's a one-piece line. The running line is thin fly line, which makes it a bit easier to handle, as you can see as I strip it off here. It's a bit easier for me to grip if a fish grabs hold. It's a bit easier for me to strip. Again, I've got a, a head fat piece at the front end and a thin running line back here. So again, without doing anything really different in my casting stroke, I can still shoot a fair amount of line. It's not going to go as far. Right? As I said right at the beginning, the shooting head and the shooting line will give you the most distance, inarguable. But it, this more than pays off because it's handleable, manageable. You can strip your line in. You can mend it a bit more than you can the running line. You can grip it when a fish takes hold. And one very important tip when you, when you go for distance is you can have a lot of line down here right, to cast a long way. And a lot of line, when you strip them off the reel, is going to have a bit of memory from the reel. So any outfit, when you particularly want distance, you do want to give it just a little bit of a stretch here. Stretch out any of this memory before you make your first distance cast. And that will give you a lot more distance because there's less coils going up in the rod rings. And that means there's a less friction and drag as it hits the rod rings. So that little stretch tip will give you a bit more distance too. So that's an integrated shooting head. As I said, it's called the outbound short. And it does give you a bit of distance, but not as much. Again, it's limited, right? Because it's a, it is basically a shooting head. Shooting heads tend to land with a bit of a splash. They're not presentation oriented. They're not the perfect thing for everybody. Sometimes you just need a bit more distance in your regular trout fishery like we have here. And you don't need to fish a lake or, a, or the shore of a, an estuary and cast as far as possible. You just want a bit more distance. So if you're using a normal outfit, like I have here, my nine foot five weight. If you're using a normal outfit, how do you get distance? Well, let's take a look. And the first way to look at that is to use an analogy of throwing a baseball. If I want to throw that baseball as far as I possibly can, I'm not going to throw it like this. I'm going to change my stance, take my arm back here and really 
throw this with a pile of force. So one thing that does help you get more distance in casting is to think about your stance. And it's all about stroke length. So if I stand, let's just show you this way so you can kind of see. If I stand with my right foot forward as a right-handed angler, there's only a certain distance I can take my arm back. If I change stance to my left foot forward, I can take my arm back a lot further. That's called stroke length. Now, the significance of stroke length is that st long strokes will give you more distance if they accelerate through the end of the stroke. You, if you, you can't have a long stroke that is one speed and then fast in one spot because that, that's basically the stroke there. So if you have a long casting stroke, you do need to make sure you go slow, medium, fast, faster, faster, faster. So a longer stroke, as long as it accelerates through the length of the stroke, will give you more distance. So that's the first thing, is that you could pick up your regular outfit and instead of being your dry fly casting stroke where you're just fishing a 25, 30 foot line and a rising trout and you're more in an upright stance, a short casting stroke like that. This is a great accuracy stroke for sure. But when you want to get distance, then I'm going to turn my stroke around here and instead of my hand stopping just level with my ear, this hand now is going to come further back to create that length of stroke. So stroke length will help. You obviously got to have a good technique. You can't have a bad technique and a long stroke length because that doesn't help you at all. Uh, and the other part to remember is that there's an advanced technique called double haul. And we have a video on that, how to double haul. So if you don't know how to double haul, check that video out first. This isn't really a video about how to double haul, but double haul gives you prodigious more distance. So learn your double haul first and then start to combine the double haul with some of these things, right? If you want maximum distance, take that shooting head, go down to the surf, double haul, and you get a huge cast. If you want a bit more manageability, take your integrated shooting head, go down and you'll get a long cast. And if you want your regular trout line, you're not going to get the same distance as either of those types of shooting heads, but you'll get more distance by adding a double haul. So I'm going to show you the double haul here. As I said, I'm not going to explain it. That's what my left hand is doing. You can see how long my casting stroke is with double haul with this length of line. This is about 25 feet of line. If I need to get a bit more line out, I'm going to lengthen the line as I'm casting. And you can see my right arm, my casting arm is going further and further back, further and further back. And that way back there, that's going to give me the maximum stroke length and therefore give me the maximum distance. Now, one caveat to that, however, is that you want to look at the head length of your fly line. So for some fly lines have the fat bit, which is called the head, and then the thin bit behind, which is called the running line. And almost everybody uses a line called a weight forward, and that's what it has, a running line, thin, and a head that's thick. And look on the back of the box, right? When you, when you took any fly line, uh, you'll see on the back of the box, you'll say head length. So this head line, the outbound short we talked about, has a head length of 30 feet. I can pick up another line that's got a head length of 40 feet or a head length of 50 feet. Why is that significant? Well, it's pretty simple, really. A fly line is designed to travel at its maximum distance when you shoot the thinnest part of the fly line, the running line or the shooting line in the shooting heads case. If you have a 30 foot fly line like the outbound short, you can only have 30 feet of line outside the rod and shoot. So to make a 60 foot cast, I have 30 feet out and I have 30 feet down here. This line I've got here on, on this orange line, it's our technical trout. It's a double taper. It's 90 foot long and there is no running line. So basically it has a 90 foot head, which means that when you want to cast a long way, you can actually carry a lot more line. Right? So I can carry this length of line and I can lengthen it a bit and carry this length and I can lengthen it a bit more and carry this length. And I can shoot the line easily because I'm already at 70 or 80 feet of range. That the longer the head the fly line is, the more you can carry and therefore the more distance you start off before you shoot. So really in a nutshell, that's it. Distance casting is about a couple of things. It's about choosing the right gear. If you truly, truly want distance, go for your shooting head and running line. If you want a bit more manageability, go for your integrated shooting head. And if you've got your regular normal fly line, then all you want to do is start increasing your stroke length increasing acceleration and putting your double hole into it.
and you combine those together and you're going to get a lot more distance. So hopefully you've picked up a couple of nuggets there. Hopefully you're going to get a little bit more distance with your casting and hopefully you enjoyed this episode. And if you did and you haven't seen the rest of them, we have a whole pile of how-to series videos on our Rio website at www.rioproducts.com. Thanks for watching.